the, the obvious answer is firm and flat and strong. Now, if you've let your tummy muscles go and you're a bit flabby and bulgy around the stomach area, what should you do? Is there anything we can do? So, Dr. Roy McGregor, can you give us hope? Certainly. Of course you can get your tummy flat. It's always reversible. And even if you feel that you haven't done exercise for ages and ages, don't worry, because if you persevere, you will have to persevere longer, obviously, but you can get it better. You can firm up those muscles. And in fact, this is a quick area of the body to see results. So remember, it's never irreversible, the changes on your stomach. In the stomach is very important because that is the centre of everything, isn't it? We feel everything there. I think so, and I think that's why people say butterflies in the stomach. And sometimes people talk about feeling a bit sick in the stomach when actually it's just because they feel lacking in confidence or a bit nervous. But really, the stomach is the centre of everything in terms of the way your body works and the way you're held together. You have a natural corset there, so hopefully you'll be able to throw your girdle away because you have a basket work of muscles that are networked all round here. On either side, you have three thick bands of muscles that come right forward to join a great big thick band down the middle. Now, these muscles are incredibly strong. They can be easily worked on. You may think they get weaker as you get older, but that's only through misuse and disuse you can tighten them up and that natural corset will help you in lots of ways. Once you start working on those muscles you get other unexpected benefits as well because you start getting better posture. Certainly do. The posture helps that's because the tummy coming in pushes your ribs up, makes your spine straight and if you've had back problems or any problems at all by tightening your tummy you'll feel better, your confidence will go up and you'll actually begin to look better and feel better. So when you first start doing exercises, take it gently. So we're going to divide this programme of exercises into three. The first section, Roy, people must take very carefully. Yes, I think if you've just had an operation or you've had any intervention on your stomach at all, you really have to be careful. Take your doctor's advice on when you can start exercising. Although even then, even within two weeks of an operation on the stomach, you can start clenching the muscles, as Lizzie's going to show us, and tightening them up, firming them up, and it will help but anybody of any age can take on these exercises. Don't think that middle age spread is something that happens because you just get older. You can get rid of it. It doesn't have to be inevitable. And it's something the men should be doing too, Roy, because men so often have a very rotund stomach. Yes, people don't realise that the fat when people overeat in a man goes straight to his tummy. In a woman it tends to go to different places and the tummy, but a man it goes straight to the pond. So there's no reason a man shouldn't join in in exactly the same way and actually get those tummy muscles tightened up. So once you can do program one, move on to program two. This is specifically for people that have a big fat tummy. People that find it actually hard to bend down because there is so much fat and there are no muscles behind that fat working. I think that's often a group of people who think, well, I can't do anything about it. But you can. Combine the exercise and sensible eating and you'll win. And then finally, Program three are for regular exercises that have let their exercises go and they therefore have a little bulge around that stomach. Those are the three programs. We're also going to advise you not to weigh yourself, which might sound controversial, but the doctor, what is your opinion on that? That's right. I think people weigh themselves far too often. You start a program and you think, well, I'll rush to the scales every day. Forget it. Don't do it. Weigh yourself about once a week, once every two weeks even. is perfectly adequate. I recommend tape, not weight because it's by measuring that you're actually going to see the difference. You're going to suddenly find that you're trimming up, your posture's better, and all the things we've mentioned, which will be shown by a tape measure, forget the bathroom scale. So that is what we recommend. So join us, first of all, in learning exactly how to measure your stomach. Now to measure, be honest, take the tape measure up to your waistband, just above the waistband, pop the tape measure around choose the fattest bit. Of course, Lizzie's not got a tummy, so we can't give you a demonstration of a fat tummy. But take the measurement where you feel you're fattest and remember where you've measured. Just above or on the waistband is the usual place. And now for the flat tummy warm-up. So shake out those shoulders shake out your arms and your legs so we're nice and relaxed to begin with stand with your feet and legs apart and raise your right arm and then your left pull in your tummy don't stick out your bottom as you do it now a little bit faster 
hard, sir. Reach up and bend your right leg and then your left. Center 
arms down and cave in. Push your way, rise up and down. I'll show you this sideways on, we'll do it again. Push your way, rise up, hold your strength, lower your arms and slump. Push your way, rise up and lower your arms. And that's the strength you need to regain via those stomach muscles to get sitting up beautifully supported from the center. Three target areas to work on now. Take it easy. If anything hurts, anything burns or trembles, don't overdo it. You stop. Every time you do the tape, you'll find there is significant difference in the amount of times you can do each exercise. And as the tummy flattens, you'll find the strength building up with those muscles. Take it easy now. First exercise, hold on to just above your ankle and slump and rising up from the base of the spine, sit up, pulling in the tummy, and then you collapse. And then one day you'll be able to do that without any support from your hands at all. So, here we go. Gently, but you do have to do these exercises repetitively. And remember, from time to time, take out the tape measure and measure that tummy. If you're substantially overweight and you're not used to exercising, then this is the programme for you. But before we begin, it's very important to check our posture. If we do this on Lizzie standing straight, looking forwards with her head straight ahead, chin level, shoulders are dropped, arms are hanging loosely by her side, and the tummy muscles here are supporting this lower back, which is very important to help the spinal column sit neatly on the pelvis, which is horizontal. Tailbone is tucked in, legs are hanging loose, with the kneecaps pulled just a fraction up so they're not pushing into the back of the knees and the feet a comfortable distance apart with the toes relaxed. So we're ready now for the flat tummy warm up. Shake out the legs, shake up the arms and the shoulders so you're nice and relaxed before you begin. Lighten through your feet, feet apart, raise your right arm and lower and shake. Keep that tummy pulled in, bottom tucked under. Reach a little bit further each time. Now bend your right leg and then your left as you reach and a little bit faster. Transfer the weight as you lean side to side. And then for the waist, bend your legs a little and place your hands at the top of your thighs. Over we go. Left hand behind your head and you'll get a greater stretch. Elbow to the ceiling, lean to your left. Thumb is in as you go over. Right hand behind your head. Straighten up, now both elbows back, now at chest height, swing those arms front and back, but keep your upper arms up, and your shoulders down, and pull in those tummies, bend those legs a little, and then swivel to your right side. Now the hips should stay facing the front as you do this. We're just loosening up the top half and round to your left. And then feet together and bend the legs straight. Faster, bend and raise the heels. Bend, pull up. Bend, pull up. Push through the insteps as you raise up. Now step onto your right leg, transfer the weight onto your left, and bend. Keep your back straight. A little bit faster and swing your arm. Now 
point your right leg in front and then your left. Bend and swing and change. Arms a little bit higher. And still those tummies pulled in. Side. And lightly through the feet and shake it out. Right, now get that posture right. We're going to work on three exercises. These three exercises will make a significant difference to your exercise program. You'll get your posture correct. You'll learn to pull in the tummy, but above all, pull out of the hips as you stretch up. So come on then. Let's have some nice gentle music and we'll start by the feet and legs a comfortable distance apart and we're going to reach right up and raise your right arm and as you do it, raise your left heel and then lower. So change, raise your left arm, raise your right heel. Now three target exercises coming up. So stay loose and we'll go down on the floor, come on down. Let's see how you're doing. Don't overdo it, you've got the digital clock to help. You only do as much as your muscles can take. So the first one, hands behind the knee for a bit of support. So just grip on and we're going to go back through a curved spine. So you go back and come up. So back through a curved spine and then come up. So let's set the clock and away we go. And one. Breathing easily, go back through a curved spine. Take away the arms. Keep your chin level. Keep your head looking straight in front. Right, next one, back on the elbows so you're supporting yourself and raise first of all one leg back and then the other, keeping the knee bent. So it goes back. Bring your legs as high as you can. Don't overstretch. Keep your bottom on the floor. And the third one, it's rather like cycling. Hands resting lightly at the side of your head, not behind. Place your opposite elbow to your knee. Keep your head up. Keep your shoulders off the ground and work those tummy muscles. Set the clock and... This is a tough one. Don't overdo it. There's no virtue in overdoing it. and lie down, feet and knees apart, waist into the ground, and relax. And that completes program two. But a word of warning. You really have to cut down on these and not have them too often because these are what's going to keep your cholesterol level up, they're going to keep you with that loose fat around the tummy and all your work on the workouts will be wasted. Just say no. And that's just what I do. Program three, and if you've got a bulge, we're going to get rid of it. Now make that resolve. We're going to flatten that tummy and strengthen up those tummy muscles. So we'll start with the flat tummy workout. Shake up the shoulders and the arms and the legs. Exercise one, feet apart, raise your right arm and then your left, stretch and reach. Carry on with your arms, but bend your right leg and then your left. And exercise 
exercise three for the waist, hands at the top of your thighs, lean. Now hold the stretch with your left arm over and to your left side. Hold the stretch. Now place your arms in front of you, chest height. Now just twist gently to your side. And round to your left. And then keeping the arms in front, upper arms back and back, back. Feel the shoulder blades. Keep working those tummy muscles. Pull them in and up. And then shake out the shoulders and the arms. Feet together. Warming up the legs. Now place the hands on the hips and bend. Bend. And bend and rise. Hold that balance as you do it. Hop. And then step on your right leg and bend. Transfer the weight. Push through those thighs. A little bit faster. Swing those arms. Point your right leg in front and your left. Swing. And then out to your side with your right. Bring your right knee up in front and then your left. Up, change. And bend both legs and clap underneath. Woo! Across the body. And lightly jog. Ready to come on down and we'll work those tummy muscles. The three target exercises. Are you ready for this? Well, here we go. The first one, raise both legs in the air and you're going to raise. After all that hard work, take your knee back towards your chest. Ease it back and down. Change legs. Ease it back. And down. Now just curl in. Up you come. Head to the knees. Start to control the breathing. Feet and knees apart. Take both knees back again. And up with the legs. Bend back to the chest. And then down. Oh, so how's the bulge? Is it going? So now you've found those tummy muscles, never let them go. Keep at it, because by exercising, you can raise the rate at which your body burns off fuel. By exercising regularly, you can permanently raise that rate. And that's how you lose the battle against fat, and that's how you end up reducing your weight. So make sure you